Today we are going to discuss red blood cells in urine. Seeing blood in your urine can be alarming. It can indicate a serious disorder. Now we will perform your analysis. Make sure that you label the urine container completely. Mix the sample first, then transfer it to the tube. Then check for the color and the appearance of the urine. This urine has a yellow color and slightly opaque in appearance. Also measure the volume of the urine. Now get a 10 parameter urine strip and dip it into the urine. Record the results on the result form. First is the SG or specific gravity, it is 1.01. .01. Then the pH which is 8. Leukocyte, nitrite, protein, glucose, ketone, bilirubin are negative. Urobilinogen is normal. In blood is 4 plus. Now let's centrifuge the sample and decant it after. Then put one drop of the sediment in a slide to view it microscopically. Red blood cell must be identified using high power or 40 times objective which have 400 times magnification in total. So let's now switch to HPO. In the urine, RBCs appear as smooth, non-nucleated biconcave disc measuring approximately 7 mm in diameter. RBCs are routinely reported as the average number seen in 10 high power field. Of all the urine sediment elements, RBCs are the most difficult for students to recognize. It's because RBCs lack of characteristic structures and varies in size. RBC are frequently confused with yeast cells, oil droplets, and air bubbles. Oil droplets and air bubbles are highly refractile when the fine adjustment is focused up and down, while yeast cells usually exhibit budding. The rough appearance of crenated RBCs may resemble the granules seen in WBCs, but they are much smaller than WBCs. If the identification continues to be doubtful, adding acetic acid to a portion of the sediment will lyse the RBCs, leaving the yeast, oil droplets, and WBCs intact. Now let's continue reading the urine sample. Let's start counting. Count the RBCs that I encircled. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 arbuses. Now I will enclose the arbuses by 10. Count with me. 20. 30. 40. 50. 60. 70. 80 90 100 I enclosed a total of 100 arbuses. Aside from the 100 arbuses that I enclosed, there are still arbuses that is not enclosed. Thereby my reading for this field is more than 100. In the first field I counted more than 100 RBCs. Now let's go on the second field and count. I also counted more than 100 arbuses on the second field. Continue counting till you finish 10 fields.
Let's zoom it in. Observe the appearance of the arbuses. Presence of blood in urine is termed as hematoria. Clinical significance. The presence of arbuses in the urine is associated with damage to the glomerular membrane or vascular injury within the genitourinary tract. The number of cells present is indicative of the extent of the damage or injury. Hematoria can also be due to upper and lower urinary tract infection. The observation of microscopic hematoria can be critical to confirm the presence of renal calculi. The presence of not only RBCs but also hyaline, granular, and RBC casts may be seen following strenuous exercise. These abnormalities are non-pathologic and disappear after rest. The possibility of menstrual contamination must also be considered in specimens from female patients. Lastly, hematoria can also be critical to the early diagnosis of glomerular disorders and malignancy. This is the result of the patient's completer analysis. The microscopic reading of blood is more than 100 per high power field. Pus cells of 1 to 3. For epithelial cells it is rare. Mucus is present. 